Happy birthday as well. You always find a lady's courtyard. An solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Technical Pro R300. This is an AM FM shortwave portable radio with flashlight and MP3 player. Awesome! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a jack of all trades type radio. I was looking for a radio to replace my Sonra. Now these were really cool. I did a review on this. These were like $9.99 back in the day. And I shouldn't say back in the day, a few months ago. And then they don't make them anymore. I contacted the dealer and they can't get them anymore. I really like this radio because pretty much the same features. USB player, flashlight, a power by a BL5C. This one actually runs on 2D batteries, which is pretty awesome. And then I take took and modified it of course and put an 18650 in there but uh yeah this was a pretty cool radio i was looking for a replacement i set it off to the side so i found it with the technical pro r300 uh, it's not quite the same radio but we'll take a look let's get this in the camera here technical pro they got a website tppro.com it's a cool site to check out they make different stuff um there's some bullet points there let's see am fm shortwave portable speaker <laughs> With headphone outputs, that's important. The Sonra doesn't have a headphone output, and the Supersonic uh, BT uh, radio, the Bluetooth radio, I'll show you in a second, does not either. But uh, there's the packaging. I kind of opened it up already and took some stuff out because it had been a pain to mess with. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Look at the back side here. See, they show the inside. Got specifications. I can't quite go up high enough because the tripod's in the way. Big an idea there. Build a speaker, adjustable volume. I hope it has adjustable volume. <laughs> um, let's see. USB flash drive, 32 gigabytes. Did not know that. I usually use 16 gigabyte cards in most of these inexpensive radios. Frequency ranges. Uh, it shows uh, FM 88 to 108 AM, 530 to 1600. Though mine goes higher. I think mine goes all the way to the top to 1700. You can check it tonight possibly. Sensitivity. There you go. And a little bullet points at the bottom. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I got this for $14.99 off Amazon, and I went to check recently, and it, the link is currently unavailable. If you can't find it on my Amazon link, try the eBay link. If you can't find it on the eBay link, then try the website, the uh, t, uh, t, t, p pro or t -pro .com. Uh They can they sell them direct. They have an R300, and they also have an R400, which I'll talk to you about. So we're going to open this up. If I can get it open here. Yeah, oh, it's fun. That's why I took extra stuff out. Okay, so what do we get in the package for 15 bucks? All right, so 15 bucks. First thing we get, we get carry strap. <laughs> Not a bad thing. Love them. All right, I'm going to lower this down a little bit. Get up close and personal. Uh, next, we got a proprietary charging cable, which I am not fond of. See, on most radios, like the sound right here, it has a mini USB or micro USB to charge your radio. That way you can use any cable in case you lose it. Um, this particular radio, yeah, it uses USB to a barrel connector. Um, I guess that's okay if you have a AC adapter that has that, but if you're going USB and you lose this thing, well, you're kind of out of luck for charging your BL5C. Bonus is uh, the radio does run on double A's, which I'll show you. They do give you a BL5C, uh, which we're going to use today. Let's go ahead and get that out of the packaging. Yeah, it's rated at 1200. Okay, always those are nice little batteries. And the radio up front and center. Uh, right away, the finish isn't spectacular. Mine has scratches on the front, came that way in the blister pack. Uh, there were scratches in the paint. Uh, so it's, uh, I'd say it's poorly constructed as far as the exteriors go. Um, but some of the features work, and I'm pretty surprised. That's why I'm reviewing the radio. So we'll go ahead and get even closer here. All right, so dimensions. We're five and a quarter inches in length. We're three and a half inches tall. And we have a case depth of one and a half inches. We'll do a little size comparison. Now, I usually bring out CC Pocket and Skywave. We're we'll doing something a little different. Bring this back up a little. Um, I brought out the Supersonic. Uh, this is the 1080BT. Um, this is actually very similar to this Technical Pro. Technical Pro actually, the Tech Pro, maybe I'll just call it Tech Pro 300. 
um, does a little bit better. It's a little wider radio. Um, so it when you put the double A's in it, it doesn't tip over like this radio. The supersonic, it has three double A operation and BL5C, just like this radio. But it's so thin that when you put those double A's in C, even naturally or without the batteries, it wants to tip back. But this one doesn't. So that is a bonus for this radio here. And plus, of course, you got better band coverage. The supersonic is missing uh, the band there. Was it the 29 meter? And this one does have the 29 meter band. I can get it to focus. It's just that if you notice, these bands run backwards. <laughs> but there's a size comparison for that. Um, I should get my deck of cards. Yep, Iron Man. Where's Iron Man? There he is. He's the man with the master plan. He loves technical pros from doesn't know where land. <laughs> <laughs> Guessing China? For sure. For sure, for sure. He's Iron Man Radio Dude. Okay. <laughs> Gives you an idea for size. Uh, so let's go over features of the radio. So right away on the left-hand side, we have a 6 LED flashlight. Um, actually, it's pretty nice. The Sonra had a 4 LED, which is pretty bright. Sonra is definitely a bigger radio because it does allow the use of 2D batteries. Um, this is actually more compact, which could be beneficial to some. On top is a switch for the light. And it won't turn on because I don't have batteries in it yet. We'll check that out in a moment. <laughs> uh, here we have our speaker, two and a quarter inches. Our dial, like I was talking about, is backwards. Um, all of all of them are. So they run from uh, right to left, which is not traditional. You can see AM, FM. We have a log scale there, which is nice, even as the metal indicator. You're going to use the scale actually quite a bit because it doesn't really line up on much. <laughs> You'll see that. Uh, there's our AM bands, the 1600, like I said. Today, during the day, I got the 1690, I believe. Um, here's our megahertz, uh, our different shortwave bands. I know tonight, hopefully, we'll pick up some stations on the lower shortwave band. Um, during the day, I was able to pick up some stations here uh, in the 30-meter band, 29-meter band. There you go. It's in blue. I can barely make it out. And uh, up here, I was getting, like, bleed through, like, from FM. So that was odd. Usually, if I get bleed through, it's AM. They're calling it eight bands. Okay, cool. So we got our switch down here. It's a USB mode, FM, AM, and then the six shortwave bands. So pretty simple switch there. Right inside, we have a tuning wheel. We have a that barrel input. It says DC 5 volts, and it has a polarity. And then above it, it's a 6-volt solar panel. They sell the same radio, the 400. I think it's called the R400, with a solar panel for 5 bucks more on their website. That's kind of interesting. Use it to charge your radio. Headphone jack. Now this is the bonus. Now the Sonra did not have a headphone jack. And the Supersonic does not have a headphone jack. Yeah, this one does not have a headphone jack on it. So that is a bonus. Is a headphone jack good? Uh, listening to radio, it's fairly decent. Uh, there is noticeable hiss at low levels. But uh, when you turn it up a little bit, hiss goes away. Uh, listening on FM, AM, and shortwave is a treat. Uh, a lot of mids and highs. Not a lot of lows. I'm a fan of that, so it's good for me. Uh, if you like a lot of lows, you may not like this radio but on the headphones. But when you uh, use the MP3 player using the SD card or the USB card, you're going to hear like noise artifacts when the volume's low. Uh, you hear buzzing and the accessing of the card, which is just, you know, internal noise and harmonics. All right. So yeah, I've got two LED indicators, charge indicator and power indicator. All right. Back here, we have our antenna, which extends out to 14 inches and swivels 360 degrees almost right here. It stops because it hits the shoulder. But it is recessed, which is nice and protects the antenna. On the back, we have our battery compartment. Open that up, put the battery in. As you can see, it has a spot for three AA batteries. Three AA batteries in the radio, and it will not tip over because of this wide base. Not bad. Um, but we're going to put the BL5C in. There we go. And uh, let's get that to fit hard on camera. It's there we go. It's like a perfect, it's got to be just right for it to drop in. There we go. Okay. And then we got our BL5C in. It could probably be modified. I don't have much room to put 18650 in there, but who knows? You can always try. All right, then we get down here. We got our little label, Technical Pro. And it runs on the three AA's and shows you the frequency range for shortwave 5.5 to 22 megahertz. And made in China. It does say made in China. Sweet. <laughs> who would have thought? Hey, lights. There we go, six LED action, rocking. I think it's brighter than the Sonra's lights. Let's see what those look like. Eh, maybe the Sonra, well, the Sonra's got diffuser on it. Okay, gives you a basic idea. 
Turn that off. So we're going to go ahead and plug an MP3 card in there. And we'll do a little sound check. Then we'll talk about FM reception. And then we'll probably cruise the shortwave and medium wave bands a little bit. Now when you put the card in, it sticks up. I find that annoying. So if that bothers you, um, you can always use a USB thumb drive. These are pretty cool. I like these little short ones. They plug in and they're like really flush to the radio pretty much. I like those. And they're sturdier. You don't have to worry about snapping them off like that little dude. But we'll use a little micro SD card right now. That's a little 16 gig, I believe. So let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll do a little demo for about uh, a few minutes. Um, the buttons on top. I forgot to show you because <laughs> we got the. I got too excited. Missed the top. Uh, volume on off switch, uh, micro SD card slot, USB card slot, like I showed you. Here we have uh, track, for, back, track, forward, and pause play. Now when you go forward, you can seek forward and seek back, which is nice also. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. Oh yeah, I had it paused. idea for audio. Let's uh, get some old, old time radio on here. Let's see what that sounds like. The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. <laughs> Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. <laughs> Watterson, consequently, was quite a plum when the mayor asked him to play golf at the country club. You're right, George Gildersleeve. You really scored. Uh, 
Hello, Duffy's Tavern. Where do you eat meat there? Archie, the man's just speaking. Duffy ain't here. Oh, hello, Duffy. Well, it looks like... There you go. You get an idea. It's pretty cool. Uh, enjoy doing that. This speaker uh, is actually decent. Uh, it's got some good mid-range and uh, pretty strong, as you heard there. Um, I would say it's definitely not as tinny as the Sonra. Uh, pretty uh, impressed with that. Awesome. So let's go ahead and take that card out. Let's hook it up. Uh, we're actually going to talk about... Um, got a shortwave one. We're going to talk about FM reception. I like to do that FM, FM reception report. This little radio did very good on FM. Um, I actually base it on five tier, fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Um, usually most radios fall between okay to good, which is about 48 stations found. This one, I was able to get 60 stations on that little tiny whip antenna. Um, and that rates it around a good rating, a three star rating. That's pretty solid for a $15 radio. I'm pretty impressed. Um, and the FM selectivity was okay to good, about average on selectivity. Um, as you tuned it, it had the step tuning, but it wasn't as pronounced as it is on shortwave and uh, medium wave. And when you got a stronger station, it would step into it, and then all of a sudden it would just get louder volume, like be better gain as you tuned through that station and into the next station. It was actually nice. It was a nice tuning experience on FM. Love it. Uh, AM daytime. Uh, reception was excellent on sensitivity, but it, this radio is plagued with harmonics during the day. Uh, some of my locals, most of my locals came in pretty good, but uh, as I went through the band, I was getting beeps and harmonics and different tones and, yeah, birdies, they call it. I mean, it was annoying. Now, if I took apart the radio, there might be some wires laid across a microprocessor that maybe I can move. That helps, and sometimes uh, I have fixed a radio once where just the antenna leads were running over one of the DSPs or one of the circuits, ICs, and it made a huge difference. Something to think about. So let's go ahead and we're going to turn it on shortwave and hear what we can hear. So I'm downstairs. We're going to use a little uh, helper antenna. Got a little wire in my window, about 12 foot wire, and we're going to just clip it to the end of this antenna here. I'm trying to get a better spot to clip it to. And this came with a PL380 from a Texan radio. And it's just strung to the inside of my window blinds just to give us a little extra reception on the shortwave. Let's see what we can pick up. Okay, we're going to turn it on. You can hear all those steps. find something. smaller band of people to double portion for three consecutive months. We bought four hours a day. That's all we could find across the nation when it appeared we would be off television. We bought four hours. Sensitive uh, radio, it's got a little bit of backlash there. You're barely noticeable, but with the unsure wave, you notice it. Mm -hmm. 
seguro mucho, ¿no? Todo lo que va a venir después. Hasta la That's a pretty cool transmission. Gives an idea for the show wave. There's quite a bit jammed in there. I won't find much left in the band. We are in show wave one still. So fairly selective, not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn that off, give you an idea. That shows you it works, uh, it does do a good job as far as nighttime listening. Like I said, daytime, uh, it was okay. I was picking up stations on the uh, 29 meter band. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall, uh, good evening shortwave experience for a little inexpensive shortwave radio. So let's go ahead and go to the AM band real quick. We'll just do a quick tune since we don't have much time left. I think I'd switch it to AM. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the bottom of the band. And we'll just go through and show you what it can find and if it has any harmonics during the evening. Oh yeah, keep on use the other switch. Has made incredible progress towards doing that. We've fallen behind and we have to get our act together if our future is not going to be second rate and also at foul territory into the stand. Still two two on Smith. He was one one going it's 10 20 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Here's the harmonics. 640 WMFN Piatone, Illinois. Hispanic. WSM, WSM Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Let's call on Joe Mullins and the Radio Ramblers now, a special WSM version of this song. If I have wrote that song on WSM. Jeez, we're making sure small businesses have the right tech solutions. Dell Technologies. 670, the score, Chicago. From helping small businesses stay connected and productive. Well Harmonics. Plus, you're, you're, co you're co-opting other people's property. It's not oh, even... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I mean, there was no vote in that, that area, right? I mean, well, let's assume... <laughs> Keep figuring out where the volume's at. Uh, this is uh, probably 700 WLW. Again, the dial doesn't really line up. But that's here's right, an idea. Oh, yes. Just the business area. 
all but the sea lion pups are considered to be endangered species. 720 WGN. <laughs> That's marvelous. <laughs> hey, so cute. I get more friends, given how often I hear we should just be friends. 740 Zoomer Radio, Z- CFZM. Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. So you can see this radio is doing a pretty good job. Like I guess if you can deal with some of the harmonics on the medium wave, it's still probably worth 15 bucks. Already going to final thoughts, but we'll talk in a little bit about that. That each night chip away at your life's expiration date. I get it. 780 WBBM. I'm just going to go up the dial now. your free consultation with Advent, you may find out you don't need one. We have every effective sleep apnea solution available. And believe me, the mask is the last exercise. Now you know, you're not sweating walking the dog. So when you, wherever you walk, you do it. I don't, I don't get what the end... You know, sometimes you just need to just go ahead and just zip it. Mm-hmm. Intellectual property. Top of the band. Sacrificing for their country, workers, and first responders for their efforts during the pandemic. See if this is 1700. There we go, 1700. So we have expanded band. Awesome. Well, there it is, a technical pro R300. Um, I hope you guys like this video. <laughs> it's an interesting radio. I don't normally do a lot of inexpensive shortwave radios, but when I find them, I do like to get them. Um, they are fun. This one actually works. Uh, you know, I was I had my doubts when I opened it up and I saw how beat up it was, like the scratches on it. And, you know, the overall appearance looks kind of cheap. Look, you see extra paint in the hole there. Um, but when I started using it, it's like it has some charm to it. <laughs> if you're not a fan of that, I understand. Um, I'm, I'm on the boat there. But having a headphone jack that actually isn't bad, um, it's not fantastic, but isn't bad, is a bonus. Um, power indicator. I do like having those. So 
important to me. Uh, the dial running backwards is something to get used to. <laughs> you pick up this radio and it's like, it's backwards. So it's just a fun little, you know, $15 fun thing. You just have, you know, hey, look, it's a flashlight. <laughs> if you don't want to use it as a radio, you got a flashlight or you got an MP3 player. Um, you know, it runs on the three AA batteries. runs perfectly on those. I like that. So is it worth 15 bucks? Yeah, if you can find it for 15 I like it. If you need Bluetooth, you grab the Supersonic, okay? But if you want to run three AA batteries all the time, you might want to go with this radio for the fact that it won't tip topple on you. This one will. If you want that extra shortwave band that this one lacks, um, you might want to go this route also. Um, medium wave, this is better on medium wave, the supersonic. So if you're a medium wave listener and you don't like the harmonics you're hearing there, that might just be a one-off on mine, but um, could be plagued with other radios. Um, this one is better, I believe, against the harmonics. So, and this is 13... Uh, 94 versus 15 bucks. I'll have links to the Supersonic down below too. So there it is, the R300. Give me a big like if you enjoyed the video. Two, if you like inexpensive shortwave radios and you want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future reviews and band scans of these radios. And three, comment below what you think about the Technical Pro R300. Do you like it? Do you like the idea of solar input? They have the R400 that comes with that panel for five bucks more. Uh, it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, for 15 bucks, what do you think? Waste of time? Uh, any interest? Let me know. Kind of curious. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.